What's up, guys? My name is Ty, and tonight we're going to react to Jillian Michaels. Now, Jillian Michaels recently went on the Sage Steel show, and she was talking about why she left California and how she's done with the woke liberal leftists. And for the people who don't know who Jillian Michaels is, Jillian Michaels is an American fitness expert, certified nutritionist, businesswoman, media personality, and author. She is best known for her appearances on NBC series such as The Biggest Loser, which I've never watched before. Um, now, with that being said, um, she goes on the Sage Steel show and she basically talks about, you know, how crazy the liberals are. And to me, she seems like she is a more base liberal, lefty. You know, she goes into details about it. And you know you got different kinds of leftists and liberals out there. Not to say that all of them are bad, but the ones that you come across seems to almost make zero sense. And they cause, they are basically just agents of chaos. And you also got a lot of media personalities out there that are considered liberals. And they are whacked out of their mind, mostly for monetary gain. And some of these DEI hires too. Well, not some most of them if not all but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play this short clip guys but before i play this short clip make sure you guys like share subscribe they don't show a lot of my videos on youtube they shadow ban a lot of them for whatever reason but i do got a rumble page make sure you go and check my rumble page out i have a lot of more freedom over there to where i can say and kind of do whatever i want to do over there I also have a TikTok, the same, Ty Mac, right? Check my TikTok out and check my Twitter X account out also. I post over there also. But um, no more wasting time on this. Let's get right to the video. And then I react after the fact. Let's rock and roll. California got too crazy for me. Why? Okay. This is my parting line. I grew up here. I'm a woman. I'm a gay woman. My mom's a Jew. My dad's an Arab. I have a black kid. And believe it or not, my son is half Latin, even though he doesn't look like it. I hold a million cards in your game of woke victimology poker. And when I leave California, maybe you've lost your fucking mind. Just maybe. Like, when you, when you have me running from home, home, maybe it's gone way too far. What was the line? Like, like what was it? Oh God, I guess girl, the there's end not enough time. And, you know, I, I actually take this, this line from Bill and um, Elon Musk, and they're like, I actually haven't changed. Yes. The world around me is shifting, and I haven't moved. So some of these laws that are passing here are absolutely fucking mind-boggling mm -hmm. in relation to crime, protecting our kids. Like, we're decriminalizing everything, which arguably I would probably be okay with, but we're not regulating any of it. Right. So it's like, okay, you're going to decriminalize sex work, but only so women can legally loiter on the streets. Like, mm. not to keep them safe, not to have them pay taxes, mm -hmm. not to make them, you know, regularly check for STDs, not to take away the pimps out of the equation. It's the, cr like, if you made that argument to me, I'd be like, well, yes, we want, of course. I mean, I, I, mean, I could be liberal. I could go there with you. But it, yeah, I, I grew up this way. But when it's like, oh, and then what we're going to do, is we're going to pass a law for LGBTQ rights so that 24-year-old men can sleep with 14-year-old boys and not have to register as a sex offender because it's just not fair to the gays. I'm like, I'm, what? It's what? Like, I don't know if you saw that one. That was like, I think, early 2020 when they passed yeah. that law. Mm -hmm. And it's, so I was like, if a 24-year-old man touches my 14-year-old son, oh, I, I will get a gun and yes. take matters into my own hands. Yes. Like, are you fucking kidding? Or the fact that a 12-year-old child can be put on off-label cancer drugs mm. 
to irreparably change their body. Again, if my son came to me and said, mom, my daughter, I think I'm trans. I'd say, okay, you know, like, you want to dress this way? You want me to call you? Whatever the heck you want me to address, fine. Explore it. I love you. I'm cool. Like, do you as long as we're safe. But we're not changing your body until it's fully developed. I'm sorry. Conversation's yes. over. Can't get a fucking tattoo. Exactly. You're crazy. It's insane. Like, I, I, I'm, I, I just can't. It's, it's madness. It's madness to me. I could go on and on and on. I'm going to stop the video right there, guys. I have to agree with literally almost all of her points. Just about all of them. And like I said, I think she's more based. She's a more based liberal. Um, a lot of common sense on the things that she talks about. But it's like when you see liberals starting to turn on each other, it's a little bit satisfying to me because you kind of look at this is the situation that a lot of them created. You know, because that's what they wanted. A lot of them are ages of chaos to where they just do anything that they want to do to no consequences. And then when you try to challenge it, they either want to counsel you or they they literally just sit there and just cry about it. You know, these people are just batshit crazy, like I said. And it just got to the point to where, like, when she was talking about the I think, I think a lot of them, and I'm talking about the leftists and the liberals, some of them just start to turn and along with the general population, excuse me, when they started going after the kids, you know, like, I think I seen a video a while back to where they had uh, kids at drag shows and they actually broadcasting it on national television. I mean, the parents should be arrested on site for that. But we all know, like, they was paid to do that. That's why they broadcast it. They paid to push that kind of propaganda and these parents shouldn't even be parents if they was even the parents in the first place you know that's some of the most disgusting shit i've never seen in my whole life and they actually broadcast that shit and they and, and you got a lot of them that actually you know go for it because they want to groom these kids to grow up and be like them simple they want everybody to be like them and then the ones that don't have kids they want women and I'm talking about these older, single and childless women. People like Chelsea Handler or Vivica Fox, lefties, liberals. Very stupid old women. Career women. Have no children. You know, was successful. But basically after that, they, get, they got old. And they some grumpy fucks. That literally nobody likes. And nobody, I can't even see the people that's around them that even like being around them. To be honest with you. But like I said, they starting to turn on each other because that's the monster that they created. And the young generation just seems to turn more and more. You know, it's like this, you know, they try they trying to get people to turn against Donald Trump, but it's like everything that they done did, it done literally backfired them. It's like you know, even with the Bud Wiser thing, why would you hire somebody like Dylan Mulvaney? to try to promote Budweiser and then you got a woman that's running the shit or overseeing it. I don't even know that men and women that drink beer. But what goes woke goes to shit. What what goes woke goes broke. Whatever you want to say it. Everything these people touch, they literally fuck it up. All the movies are woke. The movies that they make don't even make sense. People don't watch it. And then they get pissed off because they can't sell a movie that they created because it's bad writing it don't make sense it's not a compelling story bottom line they way of life they literally trying to force their way of life on the general population and it just don't work like that you know it was at one point to where they you know i would even go as far as to say that these people are very dangerous you know what i'm saying but it's like at one point you know people was okay with them long as you stay in your lane we fine but now you want to go all over the place and it got un unregulated and unchecked now you think you can do anything you want to and a lot of the, the the normal people in the general population just ain't going for that shit and i see it a bloodbath in the making and they gotta unwind all of this shit that they just let happen because they left these people alone 
But you give them an inch, they want to go for a whole fucking mile, and the people just ain't going for it. In so many words. They need to leave the kids alone. And they should have left the kids alone. And everything that she touched up on, like I said, I agree with it. These people are batshit crazy, bro. They are batshit crazy. California, they done ran that into the ground. New York, they done ran that to the, to the ground. We got a bunch of these old liberal fucks that just letting illegal immigrants into the country. Crime rate is at an all-time high. I mean, where does it stop? And you're running the liberals out of California. Now, they move into conservative states now. Or they moving out of New York and they moving down to Florida. It's everywhere. Because you blame them. They created that monster. And you know what? You get what you vote for. However y'all want to say it. You get what you vote for. Some of, some of the people say they good. You know, it's good for them. They glad that it happened. In Jillian's Michael's case, I would say that like I said, she is more base. She seems like she has a lot more common sense. And she was actually all for it at one point, but she mostly just stayed her own lane. So that's what I got to say about that. I hope you guys liked the video. I try not to make it too long. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you guys agree with Jillian Michaels? Do you agree with me? Do you agree with all of this? Do you disagree with all of this stuff that's going on in the economy right now with all this crazy shit? about these liberal lefties going batshit crazy. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and follow. Help my channel grow. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you know every time I drop a new video. Again, my name is Ty. I'm out. Peace.